Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For these holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruit of the earth, and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by learned sea and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. I will confess you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonders. the counsel of the upright and in the congregation great are your works of the Lord <laughs> sought out in all the things that he has willed Confession and majesty are his works, and his righteousness abides unto ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> E αυτού και αλληλού και πάσαν τη ζωή νημών, Χρήστο το Θεό παρατώ μετά. Σύγχυρε, ότι σών το κράτο και σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. 
Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, and his commandments shall he greatly delight. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Glory and riches shall be in his house, and his righteous abides unto ages of ages. There has risen up in darkness a light for the upright. He is merciful and compassionate and righteous. Save us, O Son of God, who were born of the Virgin. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Shone upon the world the light of knowledge, 
For through it, those who had worshipped the stars, from a star learned to worship you, the Son of Righteousness, and to know you, the one who comes from on high, O Lord, glory to you. The heavenly powers appeared at your tomb, and those guarding it became like dead men. Mary stood at your grave seeking your pure body. You stripped the power of Hades, not touched by its corruption. You met the virgin woman as one who grants life. O Lord, who rose from the dead, glory to you. To the opatori, Parthenon, the Schiophori, Sassan, Metamagon, Prosecini, Sass, Metapimenon, Edoxologi, Sass, the Angelu, Crematis, this, it Christon ton Theon, sothinetas psychas imon. Together, please, with our choir, the hymn of the church and the condacion of the feast of the nativity, there on page two of your bulletin. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy God, you dwell among your saints. You are praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy hymn and glorified by the church. And worship by all the heavenly powers. You have brought all things out of nothing into being. You've created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant, do not overlook the sinner, but establish repentance as a way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of the holy altar of walk worship and praise. Master, accept the Christ, holy him also from the lips of his sinners, and visit us in your goodness. 
to give our voluntary and voluntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives by the intercessions of the Holy Father, talk us, and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Let us be attentive. Sing praises to our God. Sing praises. Clap your hands, all you nations. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I would have you know that the gospel which was preached by me is not man's gospel. For I did not receive it from man, nor was I taught it. But it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former life in, Ju in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it. And I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the traditions of my fathers. But when he who had set me apart before I was born and had called me through his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me, in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not confer with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. But I went away into Arabia, and again I returned to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and remained with him 15 days, but I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Peace be to you, the reader. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. When 
when the wise men departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt, and remain there till I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And he rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, was in a furious rage, and he sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem and in all that region who were two years old or under, according to the time which he had ascertained from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refuses to be consoled because they are no more. But when Herod died, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Rise, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who saw the child's life are dead. And he rose and took the child and his mother and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus reigned over Judea in the place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. And being word in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee. And he went and dwelled in a city called Nazareth, that what was spoken by the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called the Nazarene. Wisdom and grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. and pleasures is worthy to approach to our near ministry of the King of Glory. Serve you as great and awesome even for the heavenly powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You served as our high priest and Lord of all and trusted us the celebration of this, the church of the sacrifice without the shedding of blood. You alone, Lord our God, rule things in heaven and earth. You are seated in the earth and Lord of the seraphim and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You are alone and good and ready to hear therefore from You look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant. And cleanse my soul and heart from evil consciousness. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit. The best with the grace of priests that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do I come about head and pray do not turn your face away from me nor reject me from among your children. And make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy God for these gifts to be Christ or God of the offer and the offer the one who refuses to be in you with glory. Together with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life and your spirit, not for into the ages of ages. Amen. We have mystically wrapped with the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us lay aside all the cares of this life, and we receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who mystically represent the cherubim in the Christ, holy hymn to the life-giving Trinity, let us set aside all the cares of this life, that mercy the King of all, invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, let us worship God, our King, bow down before Him. Death the proskinisum and kaprospesum, if we still the best need to come. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God, we know none other than you. We call upon your holy name. Come, all you faithful, let us worship the holy resurrection of Christ. We hope through the cross joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing, Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy. According to the mercy of mercy, he's blotted my transgressions. Me thoroughly for my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is over before you. Against you, you only have I sinned in the net which is evil in your sight. I am sanctified when you speak. Blameless me, your death. Behold, I have brought forth iniquities. It's a purge of 
God, remember those who love us and those who hate us, and peace lift up your hands to the holy places, and bless the Lord always, known ever to the ages of the Amen. The Lord is the cry of command, and with the shout of the trumpet of God. Pomenească Domnul Dumnezeu într un părăția sa, totdeauna acum și pururea și în vecii vecilor. May the Lord God remember us all in his kingdom, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. May the Lord God remember your priesthood in his kingdom, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gift you presented, let us pray to the Lord. For these holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Ask this, o Lord. 
for an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice from a praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us, with the gifts here presented and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life-creating spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Irini pasi, agapiso men alilus, ina enomonia homologiso men. Let us love one another, that we may with one mind confess. I love you, Lord, my strength, Lord, is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Christ is in our midst. He was, is, and always shall be. Christ is in our midst. Christ is in our midst. He was, is, and always shall be to the end of the Amen. Τα στήρα, τα στήρα, εν σοφία πρόσχομεν. Στα εβόησενα θεών, πατέρα, παντοκράτορα, ποιητή ουρανού και γη, ορατών τε πάντων και αωράτων. Και σε ένα κύριο νησού Χριστών, τον ιό του Θεού, το μονογενή, τον εκ του πατρόσκη νυθέντα προπάντων των αιώνων. Φω εκ φωτό θεών αληθινών. Εκ Θεού αληθινού γεννηθέντα, ουπιθέντα, ομοουσίων το Πατρί, Διού τα πάντα εγένετο, τον Δήμας τους ανθρώπους και διά την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν, κατελθόντα εκ των ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα, εκ Πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρία της Παρθένου και εν ανθρωπίσοντα. Σταυροθέντα τα υπερημών επί ποντιού πιλάτου, και παθώντα και τα φέντα, και αναστάντα τη τρίτη ημέρα κατά τα στραφά, και ανέλθοντα ει του ουρανού, και καθεζόμενων εκ δεξιών του πατρό, και πάλι ερχόμενων μεταδόξη, κρίνε ζώντα και νεκρού, που τη βασιλεία σου και έστε τέλο, και ει το πνεύμα το άγιον, το κυρίον, το ζωοποιών, το εκ πατρό εκπορευόμενων. Στο συμπατρί και ιό συμπροσκυνούμενων και συντοξαζόμενων, το λαλή σαν διά των προφητών. Τη μία αναγκαία καθολική και αποστολική εκκλησία, ομολόγο εν βάπτισμα ει άφεση αμαρτιών, προσδοκό ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωή του μέλλοντο αιώνο. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. 
and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten the Father before all ages, light of light, through God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels. By the cherubim, them six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying... Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us. On the night he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, sanctified blessed, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to path for our sake, 
the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Sarton son si prospero men catapanda, que dia panda. Please bow your heads for the end of the next hymn. Once again we offer you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. God be merciful to me, sinner, and save me, O Theos, Son. God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins. Communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And we offer you the spiritual worship for those who are opposed in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit, perfect. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. For Saint Panisia, the Virgin Martyr of Thessaloniki, Gideon, the new Martyr of Mount Athos, the Righteous Father Leondios, the Archimandrite, and Philipperos, the Holy Martyr, whose memory we celebrate this day, our Father, and the Saints, drunk us as much as we can. Remember those who fall into the people who have the resurrection. Amen. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Savas. Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind and all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That this loving, that our loving God, who has received them at His holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, May in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Okay. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, 
let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope. We ask, pray, and entreat. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries. The most holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, forgiveness of transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you. Our condemnation. Worthy Master, with confidence, without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pater imon, oendis uranis, aiestito tonomasu, el teto i vasiliasu, genitito to telimasu, os en uranoque epitizis, Irini pasi Das ke falasi monto ki o klino men We give thanks to you invisible king by your infinite power you created all things and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being Master look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all good and life-creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, who adheres from your holy dwelling place in the glorious throne of your kingdom, you're enthroned on high with the Father and also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us and let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. God be mercy. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken, distributed, broken, but not divided. He's forever and will never consumed. He sanctifies those who partake of him. Fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. is the proof of your saints always known ever into the ages of ages and the warmth of faith filled with the Holy Spirit confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation. Amen. How shall I, whom unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints if I dare to enter the bridal chamber 
My clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. Being bound up, I shall be cast out by the holy angels. In the love, Lord, cleanse my soul. <clears throat> Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation. The cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of future life and kingdom it is good for me to cling to and place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mysteries to your adversaries, nor will I give you kisses to Judas, but as a thief I will confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. My brothers in Christ, forgive me, a sinner. May the Lord remember you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me, a sinner. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. Jesus Christ, forgiveness of sins, eternal life, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit. Christ, 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 Forgive me, the unworthy priest and sinner.
with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Wash away, O Lord, by your holy blood the sins of those commemorated through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. Amen. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Blessed is our God. And ever and to the ages of ages. Let me 
Thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in your right path. Establish us firmly in your fear, guard our lives, and make our endeavors safe. Through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. For you are sanctification, and do we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and the Son, Take and the, the Holy Spirit, one. now and forever, into the ages of ages. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the long prophets. You have fulfilled this possession of the Father. Her heart to join the land is always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. I had the joy of announcing recently that a son of our own parish, George Athanasiu, will be ordained to the Holy Diaconate right here at Holy Trinity Church on President's Day on Monday, February 18th. However, we will not be waiting, he will not be waiting for, then, for that day to assume his new responsibilities. He will be starting uh, on January 1st, New Year's Day, as the pastoral assistant at All Saints Church in Cannonsburg, our sister parish in the south. And so, as a farewell gift, he has offered to give us the homily for today. George, may the grace of the Holy Spirit be with you in this and every other homily you preach during your ministry. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Before I start the sermon, I think, we, uh, I think we confused God a little bit this morning, and I don't know if that's even possible. I think usually on these days, on these Sundays, he hears people from Pittsburgh saying, Dear God, I hope the Browns lose. And today he's hearing, Dear God, I hope the Browns win. Because it's our only way into the playoffs. So I thought I'd start off a little light. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There's something beautiful in the combination of the different types of people described in the gospel accounts of our Lord's birth. Persian astrologers known as the Magi, lowly shepherds, a young virgin, and an old man named Joseph all play their roles. We speak of the Theotokos many times throughout the year, especially leading up to Christmas, and we must, for she is the first to receive Christ, the one through whom the Son of God is born as a human being. All generations call her blessed, and we seek to follow her example of purity, obedience, and humility. But today we especially commemorate Joseph the Betrothed, an unlikely and originally unwilling hero of the Christmas story. Every birth is truly a miracle, and every newborn baby is a gracious gift from God. But over 2,000 years ago, the world was given the most miraculous birth of all. God sent his son in the flesh to be born to a betrothed couple from Nazareth, 
Mary, a young virgin, was visited by a heavenly messenger and told that she was chosen to bear the Son of God through the Holy Spirit. Joseph was a very faithful man and obeyed the laws of God. So naturally, Joseph assumed that Mary had been unfaithful. And according to law, she could have faced death for such a shameful act. He loved Mary, but decided he must divorce her. Then the Lord sent another angel to speak to Joseph in a dream. God confirmed Mary's story of the divine conception, and Joseph was fully convinced and accepted the task God laid before him. Joseph's life had certainly been complicated by taking Mary as his betrothed. But then things got even worse. He had to take the pregnant Mary with him to Bethlehem, where she gave birth in a cave used as a barn for farm animals. And once the baby was born, Joseph found himself at the center of an in international crisis with both, both wise men from Persia and King Herod looking for the child. Then the old man had to lead his family by night to Egypt, where they hid out until it was safe to return to Israel, to the town of Nazareth in Galilee. Joseph must have wondered many times how he got himself all this unwelcomed excitement, and why God had chosen him for such an unusual responsibility. But still he obeyed and risked his life in protecting the young Jesus and his virgin mother. Joseph put aside his own wishes and preferences and did what was needed to be done, and thus played a crucial role in the unfolding of our salvation. During this season of Christmas, I hope that we will all take Joseph the betrothed as a model for how to live. Perhaps in some way we can all identify with him. He had lived a life in the world, having been married with children and then widowed. His story shows us that we don't have to be young or free from worldly cares in order to serve God. Neither do we have to be especially enthusiastic volunteers. Instead, we have to obey his calling. We may not always like it and may refuse at first, as did Joseph, and as did figures like Moses in the Old Testament. But God can be patient and persistent and use us to his glory nonetheless. The miracle of Christmas required human cooperation in so many ways. No one forced Mary to agree to become the Theotokos. The wise men could have decided to take a trip to Palestine, that the trip to Palestine was just too far. Joseph could have abandoned the woman and the child entrusted to his care, but he didn't, despite the awkwardness, the danger, and the inconvenience. On several occasions, he probably swallowed hard, steadied his nerves, kept his mouth shut, and prayed for God to help him one day at a time as he pressed forward. As we celebrate the season of Christmas this year, let us remember that the Son of God took flesh in the world where people make choices. It's a world where we all have our priorities, our goals, our visions of what would be nice in life. The problem is that God's calling doesn't always fit with our preferences. We, like Joseph, are called to obey nonetheless and respond in freedom and to play our role in the unfolding of God's salvation in the world. I know that it may seem a bit much to compare our calling to that of Joseph. It's hard to compete with being the adopted father of Jesus Christ. The good news is that it's not a contest. We don't have to compete. Instead, we just have to remember that the Lord was born for us too, that we also are brought into the eternal life of the Holy Trinity through him. He invites and calls us all to share in his life, to raise us the joy and blessedness of the kingdom, even as we live and breathe. But in order for this glorious transformation to occur, we must embrace him, we must respond to him, and we must hear and obey his calling. We will do so not in some storybook world of religious platitudes, but in one as harsh and as brutal as the one our Savior was born into as a helpless baby. Unfortunately, there are still those who kill the innocent, even defenseless children, and even more who abuse and neglect them. 
There are situations of war, persecution, abuse, and poverty that lead families to take refuge in foreign countries such as our own. We never have to look far to find sick, lonely, and miserable people who are as vulnerable and needy as the newly born Lord and his mother. No doubt, we can all play the role of Joseph to them in one way or another by giving generously of our time, our attention, and other resources to become their friends, advocates, and protectors. The good news of this season is that because of Christ's birth, all human beings are called to a life of heaven. The particulars of that calling vary for each of us. And it's not always as clear as the brilliant star that the wise man followed. And sometimes, even when it becomes clear, we refuse like Joseph did at first. But one thing is for sure, we have to listen in order to hear God's unique calling to us. And that means prayer, in stillness and quiet, on a daily basis in which our hearts and souls are open to Him. It also means cultivating the obedient faith that we see in Joseph. Like him, we may be called to new, unexpected responsibilities, to sacrifice our standing in the eyes of others, and even to risk life as we know it. So like Joseph the betrothed, let us serve Christ this Christmas season with the fear of God, with faith, and with love. Let us put aside our excuses and do what has to be done in order for us to participate more fully in the new life that our Savior has brought to the world. Let us be especially attentive to those who are weak, vulnerable, and displaced, for that is how the Lord came to us. Let us celebrate this glorious feast of our salvation by loving and serving Him in every way that we can. Just because the stores are offering returns and the radio has stopped playing the Christmas carols doesn't mean the season has ended. Our church continues to celebrate and give us these opportunities to love and serve him and one another. In this earthly world, the Christmas season has now ended. But the true 12 days of Christmas are those that follow, those that lead to the Holy Feast of Epiphany, the baptism of Christ. Although the world around us has stopped celebrating, people have taken down their trees and put away their lights, let us be the light of the newborn Christ, not only in the 12 days of Christmas, but throughout the year. May the Lord bless you all this glorious festal period within the life of our church, and may he also bless us as we close the 2018 year and begin the year 2019. Christ is born. Glorify him. Amen. Please rise. Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord in his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and hope glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us. Loving and merciful God, through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy, glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy victorious martyrs, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of Saint Anisia the Virgin Martyr, Gideon the New Martyr, right, the righteous father Leondas, and Saint Philateros, who's the holy martyr whose memories we celebrate this day, and <clears throat> of the holy ancestors of Christ, Saint Joseph the Betrothed, and of all the saints, through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect you all. Christ is born.